Welcome back to You're Not A Mean Godcast. I'm Lord Jamal. I'm not Digger Digger. That's right. It's Fact Checker Rage in the house. Digger Digger is on tour. She's in Europe. Um, Without gonna, us. Yeah. She's, she, she's doing her one-two thing. Uh, we love her. We miss her. Uh, we can't wait till she gets back. But it's going to be at least one more show without her. Um, now, before we continue and get with our guest that we have here, um, if you'd like to donate to the show, go to cash.me slash dollar sign, you're not a mean, patreon.com slash you're not a mean, or you're not a mean.com slash support. Um, we really appreciate y'all. Last week, um, I put out the call and, and quite a few of y'all did answer, um, you know, <clears throat> We appreciate it, but we definitely got to do more. But here's the thing. <clears throat> we have like, what, 63,000 subscribers. If all of y'all got together and just sent one dollar. See, because because some of y'all feel like, OK, I'm going to send a hundred dollars. I'm going to send, you know, listen, if all of y'all sent one dollar. That collective energy would go such a long way. You know what I mean? I know y'all can't afford to send $63,000 on your own, but you see, even a drip make a puddle out this motherfucker. You know what I mean? So we're going to make an ocean, trust me. And we're going to keep the shit independent and we're going to do for self. And that now leads into our guest, okay? that uh we have with us here introduce yourself sir byron wilson mm -hmm. uh representing the black lady theater and zaco energy okay welcome my brother welcome thank you my man okay um matter of fact clap it up oh, give him the warm welcome he deserves and we're gonna light up too well come on man spark that <laughs> um so brian Bye. Byron, I'm sorry. Good word, good word. Byron, who are you, bro? You, you were someone that I wanted to to interview because as we were here in the Black Lady Theater, right, you made it known to me that you are taking this entire building off of the electrical grid. Those are facts. Now. Please share with us how you're doing this, why you're doing this, the benefits of you doing this, and how you came to acquire the knowledge to be able to do this. Let me start there, because that's the most interesting. Let's start story. there and then go. Uh huh. So on September 11th, uh, I barely escaped with my life because my office was in the South Tower. Wow. And because I worked in economics and I actually studied it in college, I really understood very well why uh, that happened to us. You know, it was a very political and economic act that happened to us on September 11th. And because I had studied that in college, uh, I knew what was going on. And so I left that and started working with my friend and mentor, Sadiq Ferris, who actually went to the same university I did. Shout out to the University of California, Berkeley. And he got two PhDs, one in uh, electrical engineering and another in computer science. And we began to, work, I, as I worked with him, I started learning, learning a lot more about renewable energy, even though I came, come from a political economy background. So basically, he told me that information technology that we use every day and energy have become one one thing. Mm. Um, so energy is getting smart. You know, you look in your, you take a computer part, it has bits in it that uh, push information around, like, you know, and it needs energy to do that. Mm. So they're one constituent. And I knew that if we didn't become also if we didn't become more independent of oil
we were going to suffer again uh, similar similar attacks like what happened on September 11th as a, as a country, as a state. So I got into renewable energy because I know that <coughs> with renewable energy, Hang that, on. let me go ahead and take that puff real quick. Go ahead and take the puff, but I wanted to. We in Brooklyn, y'all. It's real. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Cops outside. <laughs> we just want to try to let that go by real quick. No, you don't have to cut. <coughs> just keep going. <coughs> huh? I was going in and out. Ah. <sighs> We should have right. that ball mic so, too. So, um, getting back to our subject, um, I knew that if we didn't become more independent, we we're going to have similar skirmishes like what happened on September 11th. And so I began to understand this concept called energy sovereignty. And basically what that is, is everyone owning and controlling all of their energy resources, right? Because we have the, the information and the technology that's already out there to do it. And so uh, that's how I got into it. Um, and, you know, we, we going moving forward, we were able to take one of the first nightclubs off the electrical grid. Mm. And because of my position at this company, I began to learn about solar energy, fuel cell energy, energy storage. You know, these are all components of renewable energy and technology that we can use to make ourselves independent. So wait, hang on. Exactly what is renewable energy? Like, like for oh, la in layman's terms, like, like where, where do I find renewable energy? Renewable energy is energy that can, just like it sounds, can be renewed over and over again without much effort. Like the sun, for example. Mm -hmm. uh, as the earth rotates, you know, we see the sun, we don't. Um, and when we see the sun, you Ooh, know. he just walked into a whole other landmine. <laughs> but continue. That's another topic. Right. Well, well you know, as, yeah, the, yeah. As, as, as the sun moves, moves as, around, as the earth moves around, as something, sun, moves, something around, moves around, something moves around. Uh huh. You know that that beams of light hit a solar panel and it creates energy, right? And so that makes it renewable. Or the wind, uh, which is another form of solar energy, which are pushing some blades around uh, on a turbine to create electricity, create electrons, move electrons around. And uh, yeah, so those are some examples of renewable energy, uh, renewable energy technologies like uh, fuel cell. You hear it a lot in the news. About what is a fuel energy. cell? A fuel cell is a device that is a generator, but acts like a battery. Okay. Right. It generates and stores mm. energy where battery just stores it. Right. An example of that which would be a hydrogen fuel cell. Um, this company that I used to work for, we developed uh, fuel cell technology, but we use metal, not hydrogen. So you can actually use metal, like zinc, renew it, renew it forever, and constantly have it as a renewable energy source forever. So why is this not being used? Oh, it's being used. It's being done. Uh, but then again... Why don't I have a fuel cell battery in... <clears throat> my cameras right now well you might but there's this technology called zinc air which they use in hearing aids right it use it uses oxygen and zinc to create a reaction to turn some electrons around which power that device right? so the oxygen that's available oxygen readily available, available all available. around us we use we use zinc air fuel cell and a nickel zinc battery and we retrofitted a honda insight up here in westchester we took it 350 miles on one charge. Mm. Okay? We use this same thing. How fast is it going? Two miles an hour? No, no, no. <laughs> over the speed limit. Okay. Average, average speed, 65 miles an hour. What does that translate for you? That is like you, you going from here to Philly, you know, uh, on one tank, right? You can do that with this car. Let me ask a question. Um, <laughs> In terms of the whole like renewable question, renewable energy question, what you just described to me, um, uh, would they say people like Tesla was working on some right. separate things, right? 
Sure, like Tesla uses a technology that's similar to what's in our cell phones, lithium ion. Well, we thought that's a foolish proposition, right? Because as you know, some cell phones and, and laptops have exploded on planes with this technology in it. Why? Because lithium gets really hot. So as it heats up, you have to cool it down. And that's why it's so expensive. I was speaking of, uh, of Nikolai Tesla, though. Um, Nikolai Tesla? Yeah, the original. Oh, I thought you were talking about the Tesla well, yeah, it's, car. It, it's still Tesla. It's still Tesla. <laughs> yeah. No, the real right. original yeah, Tesla. The original Tesla. They just Tesla. hijacked his name. Right, right. But um, I'm just curious, like, you know, obviously, you know, conspiracies go about when people do find different methods to renew energy that doesn't fit the uh, corporate model, you know what I'm saying, of monopoly. Got you. Well, this is why they choose lithium. You know, it's, it's along the same uh, trajectory. So what I'm saying, is there a concerted effort amongst those that are in power to keep some of the information that you have? Oh, absolutely. Okay. Do they hide their interests by saying it's not safe? Or, no. you know, how does that, it's, how are they? Because it's destabilizing. So if you, if you have, if you don't pay for, if you don't pay Con Edison, right? <laughs> Everybody's paying Con Edison. Right? If right. you no longer pay them, they're out of business. What happens when they're out of business? Then people lose jobs. That's disruption. So there's a lot of technology that's not in the interest of the state to be out there because- But it's, it's in disruption. the interest of the people though. Oh, absolutely. You see, it would serve the people much better to have uh, this renewable energy or free energy. Um, <clears throat> That's one less fucking bill I have to worry about out here. And now I can apply, you know, m those resources to something else in my life and take a little less stress off of me out this motherfucker. Yeah. But you're just using this as some shit. You know what I mean? As, as, as just another tool to keep me in slavery, basically. Can I, can I give you some advice that you can use to, to be free on energy? Yes, yeah, like, like how can you help? How can you help the viewer right now? Real simple. Do something that's going to say, you know what, Real simple. I can do this immediately. I'll give you five technologies that you can use that are in your house right now that you can get yourself free. The first one, you know, a lot of y'all have a cordless drill in your house mm -hmm. that's broken or a blender that's broken, right? Mm -hmm. Take that motor out, put some fins on it, put a tail on it, stick it up in the sky, turn it into a wind turbine because I've done it. Mm. There's tons of YouTube videos out there on how to do it. That's available. You can take those ceiling fans, same concept, right? You can flip it, turn it into a wind turbine, generate your own energy. Another thing you can do is you can use water as energy storage. Let's say that you have two barrels, put one on top of the other. As it rains, store water in the top one, right? As it flows to the bottom, it's gonna turn a wheel and create energy on demand, right? and then it'll store it in the bottom. And then you can use CDs and turn that into a solar panel. There's CDs. It. Use CDs, v DVDs, mm -hmm. right? That you got sitting around, not mm -hmm. using them anymore. Mm -hmm. Recycle them into solar panels. Hmm. There's videos out there show you how to do it, right? Hmm. So I gave you a wind turbine. I gave you solar panels. I gave you energy storage. Now, as shallow and superficial as we are, right? <laughs> you know what I heard and with a lot of that shit and with a lot of people are going to say, well, what's that going to look like? <laughs> <laughs> like, 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 hold up. <laughs> like, 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 for some people, you know, they, they want the benefit of this, but they don't want some clunky contraption, right, right, right. you know, in their fucking living room or wherever the fuck it yeah, is. I feel that. And so how do we make, how do we make renewable energy sexy? Bro, okay. I'm glad you said that. <laughs> Good question. I'm glad Seriously. You said that because, because this sound wait, what was one of the first things you said? Oh, oh, the wind turbine. All right. Okay. So now I got a fan of, that I'm thinking of, right? In my crib. I'll say, all right, I take that down. 
And I use this as a way, where is it going, first of all? <laughs> is this big old thing going to be on the side of my house? Yes. Is it going to look crazy? You see, because people don't want to look crazy either. Like, I feel you. You know so, what I mean? But the, the other side of that is... Can I hide this motherfucker? There's <laughs> technology out there that looks way sexier that you can actually afford, right? But if you pay John McGillicuddy down the block <laughs> to put that up, that's a 20 grand proposition. Right. So, but if you bought the technology yourself and mm. did it yourself, we're talking a quarter of that price, right? And the battery technology is affordable. You can buy a battery bank. It's real sexy, sleek. Plug it into your uh, your, your 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 before your meter, and you're done, right? That's a fourteen two thousand dollar proposition. You can afford that, right? I can afford that. And I'm, I have friends that, that make these technologies because I've been in the business so long. I got a guy in uh, Greece who, create, who manufactures five kilowatts, uh, five kilowatt fuel, hydrogen fuel cell, you know, that you can actually use your own human waste and kitchen waste to create the fuel. This is what I heard you talking about. So let's talk about this right here because you, I heard you saying something about right. using human waste and what are you now using the gases? What are you capturing the gases? Exactly. And now... Because it's biomethane. It's okay. Methane. methane is the same gas that mama uses to cook your food when she turns on that gas and click, click, click. Mm -hmm. That's methane, right? Mm. It's, it's like 90% methane. But this is biomethane, right? That, that's naturally mm, from the From the bio... From the fermentation of your own poop. Mm -hmm. They call it anaerobic digestion. So, Without oxygen, these microbes create naturally this methane. That's why it's renewable. Because you go ass to shit. methane, y'all. It's to ass shit. methane. <laughs> you're mm -hmm. gonna shit every day, mm -hmm. right? You're gonna throw some extra food away every day. Grind that shit up. Put it in your digesters, what they call it, and it's gonna go to this fuel cell. With my friend, you know, they make them in uh, Greece. You go to this fuel cell. It's gonna create. Five kilowatts of renewable, renewable, renewable energy that you create with your own shit without solar panels. Now, do we have to clean this thing no, out at yeah. some point? No, the this, this, this is, is the beauty. This, this is, is the beauty, like a right? tub because again, no, <laughs> the the micro, like like this little shit. Oh, this it. all sounds great, I right? But look, hold up, this little shit that will stop the average person from. From going down this road, oh well, well, but, but no, it's gonna be nasty. I'm gonna have to clean out. Ain't nobody wanna clean out no shit. Like I'd rather just pay comments. Like, like. Fact. So go ahead. Um, I've done the research. So, so what, how do we? I've done the research. Do you have to right? clean the shit? No, you don't have to clean the shit, right? Because what you have to have is a place for it, because it creates a natural fertilizer that goes straight to plants. Hmm. Right, because I was consulting with this, uh, this. So it's like a compost, almost. It's a compost tea mm -hmm. that you put in, in all of your plants. You know, in out inside, outside, no smell. Mm -hmm. You know, and the microbes take care of the rest, so there's really nothing to clean. Right. You just it just energy. It's like having a third stomach, right? Mm -hmm. You shit it out and go to your other stomach, and it just re and then it it pushes it to an, another stomach, which are the plants and. The, Everybody benefits. Mm. You know, you know, you know. What comes to mind. <clears throat> I think what frames this conversation intelligently. Time. What frames this conversation intelligently? The quote comes to mind: "Necessity is the mother of all invention." Facts. Right. Then you were talking about okay, the whole genre of like the doomsday preppers, etc. Where this information will become most useful is if there is an incident in society per se, where the infrastructure can no longer meet the means of the people, and then we have to do that. At that point, people are gonna be looking for all their CDs, fans, That's <laughs> when it's fact. time to survive, you know what I'm saying? Or like I tell Digger, when the zombies come, you know what I'm saying? I feel like they're, and they're trying to really make you rely so much on electricity and all that, like, like, Think of how crazy you be feeling when your fucking phone is dead and you need to find a oh, charge yeah. and you're just running around We're slaves like, to it. Yeah. yo, like, like yeah. a fucking fiend, like yeah. you got to fucking charge it and need a charge. Like, you know, it's like, it's fucking crazy. Like when they giving you more shit to plug into, mm -hmm. you see what I'm saying? 
where you they want to. you to use more right. electricity. So now let's say, you know, I, I do one of these turbine electric drill fucking shits. What, what could I run off of that? Like, because people don't want to feel like, well, I can only run, you know, <laughs> what do you need? Uh, an electric toothbrush with it. Exactly. <laughs> and I can't do nothing else. What like motherfuckers want to, right? they want to live their life. They exactly. want to fucking turn on all the lights in the crib mm -hmm. and have every TV running in, in every fucking room, even if nobody's watching it and all of that, like mm -hmm. they've been doing. Right. Like, so can it do all of that? Like, it, can, it can do all of that. But but here's the thing. Consumption is out of control. So you can do some minor tweaks <coughs> to bring consumption in control. Right. Right. First Which thing, you should. Just, anyway. Just a way of life. Well, and, and that should be on yeah, all yeah, fronts. Yeah, yeah. Everybody Food, should have LED everything. light bulb, Right. right? But, you know, if you have an incandescent light bulb still in your house, you old and you don't want to change. Bye. You know what I mean? Uh, we don't need AC. Not really. Because what makes it hot is that everyone's running their AC. And what's happening is it's pushing all that hot air and you need to recompensate. But I don't have an AC in my house. Yo, it'd be hot sometimes. It'd be Certain hot. Cribs, but, bro. But, but, but that's the third thing is <laughs> reconstruct your house. Insulate it better. That's going to need, have it, have less demand on heating and cooling. You have to do these minor tweaks so that you bring down con consumption. All right, um, if I may, talk to me about this. Hang on, we, we, we got not a lot of time left. So let's get concise. Like, I want to give the people as much information as like, you know what I mean? Yeah. How can, where can people learn about, oh, I guess YouTube, huh? Like, if you YouTube. really want to learn some right. shit out here, here if you want to <laughs> learn some shit in the world, really, I guess there's no excuse right now. Right. It's just you're not asking the right questions. Right. Seeing is believing. And I, I've shown people my pro, my projects at like here at the Black Lady Theater and at, you know, this other nightclub in Brooklyn. Shout out to TBA Brooklyn. Uh, I, I retrofitted their club. I made it smart. I gave them control of every device in that club through their cell phone. You know? Wow. And that makes it more efficient. So, for example, you go to your room, you leave it. I had it so that when you left that room, everything shuts off. Soon as you leave. Soon as you leave. When you come back, it shuts back on. Exactly like if it was on all the time. That's how you have to do it. Jay, I'm, I'm almost thinking like, does the Anatomy Network need to uh, issue or ask Byron? Maybe they need to come back to us and Maybe, comment? listen, if y'all if y'all got questions for Byron, um, as far as renewable energy, he's I'm around. Here. I'm here. Um, so, you know, yeah, maybe we'll take questions, you know, in the comments and, and maybe, right. yeah, maybe that'll be, you'll, yeah. you, you can come back and just answer certain questions that people love, give you. Cause love. this, this is, this is too much yeah. for just one, you know what I mean? Right. For one segment like that. Right. But we definitely appreciate you sitting down with us. I hope I was able to give some some knowledge. But Absolutely. Now, now, what's the name of your company again? Zayco Energy. Zayco Energy. Now, if people wanted to contact you or something, how can they get in con contact with you? You can. Okay. You know why? Because <laughs> I've, taken, I've taken my movement underground. Oh, shit. And guess what? The people that know me know how to get in contact with me, right? And so it's usually... Word to word, hand to hand, like this. You know what I'm saying? Because I can, I can help a brother and sister out, but people like to waste your time, and people ain't serious. Right. Right. So, bro, I don't even answer my phone no more because mm. people know who I am, but they waste your time. And so, to prevent all that, only the only the serious people contact me, and I tell people straight up. You know, as I'm smoking this joint in their face. <laughs> Don't fuck with me unless you're serious. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's I'll give a up. fuck. I'll say the same thing to Bill Gates fucking at. I don't care because I'm like this. Time is too short for you motherfuckers to be fucking around with these motherfuckers. You're giving them all your goddamn money. I say, cut the cord now. Force yourself to use renewable energy. Otherwise, you're just wasting my time and you're wasting everybody else's time. But I think you need to tell them where you're from because they need to really understand your temperament. I know how you give it up. Tell the people where you're from, man. Man, I'm I'm from California, uh, born and raised. I, I moved to New York in, in the in the mid '90s to go to law school here in 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 Queens. Shout out to CUNY uh, University, 
Queen uh, CUNY Law School, right. college. And Byron from the from the uh, and from I'm a Bay Bur- Area. and I'm a Cal graduate, graduated <laughs> from UC Berkeley oh. in 1995. Well, in, in political economy. Well, listen, Byron, we got to go to break. Um, but we thank you up, for your y'all. information and, you and, and definitely hit them up in the comments and we'll strive to uh, answer your questions on renewable energy and all that. We'll be back. You know what I mean? God cast. Peace. Peace. Peace, y'all. Brooklyn's historic The Black Lady Theater is now taking bookings. Host your next birthday party, concert, networking event, baby or bridal shower, wedding, art show, gala, corporate event, live stage play, audition, and so much more. At the one and only The Black Lady Theater. Mention code GODCAST for 15% off your rental fee code good for the first time customers only valid for a limited time call 718-771-0900 to book your event today